should be roasting somebody as popular uh, as Katie, all right? She is uh, big in the Chicago scene. She is huge in Japan, and she's pretty chunky by Wisconsin standards. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is what it's like to have shoulders. <laughs> uh, 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 thank you very much. I know you can tell, Eric kind of has a weird voice, right? Eric has the type of voice that was designed to say, hey, men can be nurses too. <laughs> you want to go to voices? Katie's got a voice that says, my son has never done anything wrong. <laughs> you know, Lincoln, he could never. <laughs> Katie uh, Kincaid is actually an Irish name, and you can tell she's uh, Irish because she's dumb as a brick and her shoulders look like the cliffs of Moher. Oh. <laughs> Alright, calm down, EpiPen Shapiro. <laughs> uh, so Eric is bad at sex, uh, obviously. <laughs> Eric is so bad at sex that when he doesn't make a woman come, his immediate response is to go, Oh, awkward turtle! <laughs> <laughs> Katie's so bad, it's actually dresses like the dad from a 90s sitcom. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, you should probably go back to NPR, Paula Pound Cake. I don't think it's the way out for you. You got a face for ham radio and a body for ham. Dude, you are a pool noodle of a man, okay? <laughs> um, doesn't Eric look like the type of guy who gets a little too excited about going to a hibachi grill? Yeah. <laughs> shrimp into his mouth and he's already like, thank you, Sensei. <laughs> they throw one shrimp into her mouth and she says, more shrimp, please, right now. Look at that shrimp, looks like your penis. <laughs> That's pretty good, coming from post-op Jim Carrey. <laughs> oh, I love you, laugh libertarian. <laughs> You're dressed like you pee standing up. <laughs> Katie's dad actually operates a karate studio, and she always wanted to join, but that many crouching tigers threatened to reveal her hidden dragon. <laughs> yeah, I had to learn self-defense so I could fight off his where's my hug energy. <laughs> like Winnie the Pooh going in the honey pot. Did <laughs> it sink in the fist covered in honey? Yes, there we go. Uh, Growing up, Katie would, uh, she'd hump furniture around the house to try and get off, uh, which I could see you making that mistake, because with that outfit and that build, you do look like an Ikea bookshelf. <laughs> Guys will also treat Katie like Ikea. Because even when they look down, there's a couple screws left, they're, they're pretty much fucking done. <laughs> Man, Eric, Eric kind of has a corporate look to him, right? He's a corporate look. Eric looks like an HR rep that skips over resumes of black sounding names. <laughs> I mean, he's all for diversity and inclusion. If the inclusion is letting him say the N-word. <laughs> you look like you drive past black sounding restaurants. Oh, Fuck, I should've said one more time. I can't stumble over anything. Katie's got a boyfriend who is uh, eight years her junior. Uh, I guess at 30, she figured if she's not gonna use the cradle, she might as well rob it. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny because Eric has a girlfriend that is 10 years younger than him. She's a young Jewish- Hell yeah, brother, thank you. <laughs> Girl, I, I won't tell you how young exactly, but it is the same amount of candles on the menorah. Oh! Are you not familiar with the double standard? It's cool when I do it because I can. It's sad when you do it because you have to. Oh! Oh! What's that? Last joke. Oh, last joke. All right, here we go. Katie once accidentally put two tampons in her pussy at once. I don't know about you guys, I wish she would put one in her mouth on purpose. Yeah, I mean, anything seems big when you're working the Hot Wheel right there. Okay. <laughs> things that make Eric seem racist. Eric isn't racist, but he is the type of guy when he takes a photo with a black person, he's the one posing like this. <laughs> That pose came too natural to Katie, I think. 
Guys, give it up for that holy shit. Uh, uh, Oh man, that felt like bullying on the playground in middle school. That was cool. Eric almost started tugging at his hair. Um, hers, whichever she identifies as. All right, we're going to Kevin first. What did you think, buddy? Hey everybody, let's give it up for both the people at the office holiday party that you don't want to have a conversation with. HR on your fucking cells. Jesus. I wouldn't want to ride in a car with you for 30 fucking seconds. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna give it to Katie though. I thought Katie had a little bit more sleep. Katie, one more for her. Give it up for her. Yeah! I can't say anything about the fat about you two because you two look like if you fuck, you make me. <laughs> Fight, okay? <laughs> uh, but goddammit, great job. Katie Kincaid, you are my winner. Alright. All right. Very nice. Bop. Bop. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop. Guys, it's been a long time since I've seen a breakup in a Buffalo Wild Wings parking lot. <laughs> so this really brought me back, but uh, Jesus Christ, Katie. Uh, some of those were fucking haymakers. I feel like less of a man for you, Eric. Uh, <laughs> Katie, Katie's got to win. Katie wins the battle. Yeah. That was that was fantastic. You guys had bars from the beginning to end, but I think uh, Katie with the EpiPen, Sensei, Hug Energy, you passed her more men. That middle, <laughs> I was like that. She she brought the heat. You guys do look like a couple, but she's the one that changes the tire while Eric's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done yet? Jeez, you gotta go! All right. <laughs> Just call a Tito, he'll do it. <laughs> we work, fuck you. All right, um, yeah, man, Katie with uh, a pretty cool beating in the middle. I'm gonna get me with her. Good job, both of you, though. Bye. Katie wins it. Oh my god, one more time for these two.